Oh, it's secret message time! If you have a pair of red tinted glasses or a pair of 3D glasses such as these, get them out and look through the red lens now. If you are looking through a red lens of some sort right now, you should be able to see this message very clearly. If not, you still might be able to read it if you try really hard. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn off a layer so you can see just the words. Now I'm not going to modify the text at all, just the red layer. Look, it says, hello world, I hope you are well. But once I put this red layer on top, it's a lot harder to see. And not so much that it's blocking out, even though it's blocking out little bits of the letters. It's just confusing to the eyes, and it's much more bold, so it distracts you from those words. But why, looking through a red lens, would it make a difference to make it so where you can see those letters? What you'll notice is when you're looking through a red lens, the red seems to disappear. Now, if you have glasses like mine, which are 3D glasses, which are red and they may look blue, but it's actually blue and green. If you look through with the left eye, the red disappears. But if you look through with the right eye, the blue side, the bluish green side, the blue will disappear. Let me demonstrate. So again, if you have glasses like mine, which are red on one side and the blue and green on the other, looking at this right now, if you were to look through the red lens, you can see the words. But if you look through the greenish, greenish blue lens, the blue words disappear. Let me show you again. I'm going to remove the red from the image. So it's just the blue words. If you look at it through the blue green letters, uh, <laughs> blue green lens, the words almost as you might still be able to slightly see them. But again, if I turn off the words and turn on the red, and you look through the red, the red almost disappears. Again, it, we don't live in a perfect world, so you might be able to see it slightly, but for the most part, it disappears. And to understand why, you have to understand colors. It is amazing how many people don't understand how colors work. Basically, this one question, and it bothers me, people don't understand why it bothers me so much that people don't understand this, because it's a basic concept that we all learned at some point in our life, but people seem to forget and get it muddied up in their heads. And to understand how colors work, you have to start off with this. If I asked you, and people get this wrong all the time, so don't feel bad if you get it wrong, if I ask you whether it's black or white that contains all colors, which would you say? So all colors, black or white? Many, many people will say black, and that's wrong. It's white. White contains all colors. Black is the absence of color. That's why when you have a pure light, the light is white and you can see everything in a room. If you were to turn off the light, everything goes black because there is no light, meaning there is no color. Because color is just light hitting your eyes, how your eyes and your brain perceive that wavelength of light. So why is this important? And also, why do people get this confused all the time? I think the main reason people get this mixed up in their head is because if you take paints and mix them all together, you usually get a brown or a black or this dark color. And the misconception there is you're not mixing colors, you're mixing paints. Paints usually start off white and you add pigments. Those pigment, pigments will subtract all colors but the colors you want it to be. So your primary colors are red, green, and blue. You have eyes that have cones in the back. That you have red ones, green ones, and blue ones. And combined, you can see the whole spectrum of colors that people can see, unless you're colorblind. And then there are some people who actually can see outside of that wavelength, but that's a whole nother story. When you take a paint or something that's been colored, it's basically had other colors subtracted out of it. You start off white, and if you want red, you subtract green and blue. If you want blue, you subtract the green and red. The problem is when you take something like a paint that's already colors, you're now putting together, it's like adding negative numbers, which is the same as subtracting. So you're not adding colors when you do that. You subtract them. Back to the hidden message thing. When you have red and white on the screen, so our white background and the red speckles, and you look through it with a red filter, that white's going to hit that and the red filter is going to filter out all the green and blue and you're going to get just red. But the red, it's going to go straight through because there's nothing to filter out. So the red and the white then become the same color and that's why you can't see them both when you look through there. And the same is true on the other side. If you have letters that are green and blue and you put them on a white background but then you filter out everything but the green and blue so the white is red, green, and blue, this is going to subtract the red out of that white and you're going to get the green and blue and it's going to end up being the same color or as close as we can get to matching those letters so it's going to filter it out and it's going to look the same. It's still there but the colors are coming through the same so your eyes can't 
tell the difference between them. So what happens is on the other side of that, when the red letters go through and the white goes through, those come through as red. The blue letters, they don't have any other colors. They don't have any red to filter out. There is no red in that bluish green color. So it comes through almost as a black. And if you, you can do this if you ever have a colored light and get something that's, that's white and blue and red and hold it under a blue light. And if you held it under a blue light, the blue and the white will look the same where the, white will, or the red will look black because there's no light to reflect off because it only reflects red light but if you have a blue light there is no red in it here's a side fact is plants require sunlight if your plant is green you can put it under a red light or a blue light if you put a green plant under a green light the plant will die because the plant is reflecting green and since it's reflecting green it's not absorbing the light that it needs and the plant will die so coming back to my example here, again, if you look at this through a uh, red lens, you'll be able to see the words and the red will disappear. But now you might ask, how did I create this? I just laid down some light colored bluish green text and then I added down a new layer and I chose a paintbrush that is this speckled. Really, it's just anything that's noise. You still want the blue to be able to be seen. But now if I just start going like this, Eventually, these letters will get harder and harder to see. As long as you don't cover them up all the way, you can see them with a red lens. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to visit my website, filmsbychris.com. And I hope you tried this out. It's a fun little technique. You've probably seen it before. Hidden messages when you just see a red blob and someone gives you some red glasses. I've seen board games like it. And now you know how to create them. And it's pretty simple. Now, if you want to know more about colors, I did do a video a couple of years ago called This is a Yellow Truck. So search that on my website and I go into detail a little more about it. Uh, but it is important to understand how things work and to understand how things work, you have to understand the basics. So again, remember, white, light, that's all colors. Black, darkness, you can't see anything, the absence of color. So thanks for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. And I hope you have a great day.